Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, Sensei, Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer. These shows played such a major role in our lives in so many ways. But what if they never existed? What would life be like? What would the world be like? Well, you don't need to do anything because I've used my big brains to imagine that scenario for you. Make sure you stay till the very end for bonus facts. In order to get a more accurate picture, we need to go back a couple decades in time. 1956, Japan, the birthplace of modern anime. A company named Mushi Production decided to use the Japanese comics book style of drawing to animate stories. Animes like Princess Monoki became iconic in Japan. Very soon, the anime genre would obtain worldwide recognition. What all the fuss is about, at least to the eight-year-old set in this country. The release of the Pokemon series had a massive success internationally as well as movies like Spirited Away. The latter went on to win an Academy Award for Best Animated Featured Film. These are shows that marked a whole generation and created an entire new cultural genre. If it weren't for men like Osamu Tezuka, founder of Mushi Production, your childhood would have probably been a lot different. Now that you're all caught up, let's get into what life would probably look like if anime never existed. Let's go back to childhood. More specifically, let's go back to Gen Z's childhood. No matter if you were from the US, Russia or Mali just like me, what was one card game that a lot of boys would play? I'll give you about two seconds. Yes, you got it right, Pokemon cards. We will trade them, battle one another with them. They will also get confiscated sometimes. Another card game that was popular was Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And we all know that Yu-Gi-Oh was an anime. Now, how would you have entertained yourself without these little card games? Maybe you would have played more sports like football, basketball, this could have resulted in Gen Z having more athletes. Perhaps there will even be more comic book fans than ever. Who knows? Yes, it's true that there were other animation styles, but can you really imagine how different Cartoon Network would have been without OG Naruto, or Tsunami without Dragon Ball, or Disney without Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh? The way a whole generation of boys played was centered around his themes. Mental health. Without anime, a lot more people would be more vulnerable to bad mental health, especially with shonen anime, which often tends to display a positive philosophy when it comes to facing and overcoming life challenges. I can personally say that Naruto was my inspiration throughout my whole teenagehood till this day. I never go back on my words because that's my ninja way. I'll never give up until I become the Hokage. But my favorite one will always be Say your heart blaze, overcome your limits. As ridiculous as it may sound, anime is a source of inspiration and motivation to a lot of young people. The world of anime is fictional, but the characters and stories at their core are very relatable. I would even go as far as to say that anime saved many people from my generation. If anime never existed, I don't think Japan will be as popular as it is right now. Do you know how many people are actually flying out to Japan? Anime is in my humble opinion a genius marketing move to introduce the world to the beauty of the Japanese culture. Me personally, I love the great samurai warriors of the past and one in particular just fascinates me. His name is Musashi Miyamoto, the greatest swordsman of Japan. Let me know in the comment section what you love the most about the Japanese culture. Without anime, the film industry will be very different. 
In fact, without the influence of anime, a lot of iconic movies wouldn't have seen daylight, simply because they were based on actual anime stories. Did you know that Disney's Monster Inc. was actually inspired from an anime called My Neighbor Tororo, which is the story of two sisters who end up befriending a forest spirit after their mom falls ill. Pacific Rim was inspired from an anime called Neon Genesis Evangelion, which I personally used to be a fan of when I was a kid. This anime takes place in a post-apocalyptic future and focuses on a boy that is chosen by the government to fight demons by piloting a mech, which is a giant robot slash armor. Sounds familiar, right? Even George Clooney's Gravity was inspired by an anime named Planets, which revolves around two astronauts that have the task to remove space garbage. There are so much more examples, but I'm sure you get the point. The culture would be completely different. Imagine YouTube without your favorite anime related channels. Can you imagine the world without RDC World? How boring would that be? Or not having anime balls deep, in depth insights and theories on our favorite animes. That right there is scary. And that's also the reason why you should subscribe to my channel. You never know what can happen in the future. Overall, without anime, the pop culture scene as we know it would be completely different. The Gen Z generation would probably not be into video games as much. Or maybe they would. Even though Japan is one of the world's top economies, I don't think young people would be as fascinated with the country as they are now if it weren't for anime. A lot of your favorite movies probably would have never ended up on the silver screen. Some of the most legendary inspirational scenes would have never been impressed upon our minds if it weren't for anime. If you were to ask me if I believe the world would be a better place without anime, I would say no. What about you? What do you think? What would the world be like without anime? Let me know in the comment section. Now, if you are still here at this point, you are the real deal. And you deserve a bonus fact. Did you know that Netflix show Lupin was inspired from the famous director Miyazaki Hayao's 1979 Lupin III? Castle of Caglistro. The story is about Lupin, a gentleman thief, and his associates. I'm starting to think that Hollywood has a little plagiarism problem when it comes to these movies. Anyways, thank you for watching this video till the end. And um, until next time.